In this video, I want to show you five ways that you can take a screenshot on Windows without installing any third party software. And right at the end, I've also got a special tip that will make capturing a screenshot even easier for you. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so the first way to take a screenshot is to press Win and print screen on the keyboard like that. You saw it quickly went dark there for a second. That has now saved the picture inside of your pictures screenshot folder. There you can see it there. It's also in your clipboard, which means you're able to paste it like I did there into an art program, a simple one or a more sophisticated one, even a word processor. So it saved it and it's in your clipboard. Another way to take a screenshot is to press control and print screen. No feedback on the screen there, but what's actually happened is it's put it into the clipboard, which means again, if I go over to here, paste, okay, it's copied that now into any art program or word process or whatever you want. Uh, so control and print screen doesn't save it, but does put it into the clipboard. Another way to do it is to just press alt and print screen. Now that won't save the whole screen, that will just save the active window, which in this case was paint there. So it's in the clipboard, hasn't been saved on the disk. If I do paste, there you can see it was just the paint program, the current window, not the whole desktop. So alt and print screen for the current window. Another way to do a screenshot is to use the snipping tool. So you press win key, shift, and S, that's a three keyboard combination. And as you see, this little taskbar has come up here. This is for screen capture. And you can select a rectangle, a window, full screen, or free form. Let's just go with free form here. So you can actually just draw a section of the screen that you want to copy. That has now been saved into the uh, folder, your pictures screenshot folder. There you can see the free form version of it. And it's in the clipboard. So again, edit paste there you can see uh, it's just come up into the clipboard into my art program again more sophisticated art programs uh, word process wherever it is you're cutting and pasting this image now another way to take a screenshot this time of the active window is to press windows and g that will bring up the game bar and then if you hit this capture button over here take screenshot okay that will then take the screenshot it will save it onto the disk, not into the clipboard. Where does it save it? Well, it's slightly different than before. It's now in videos capture. And if you notice here, it's just the current windows, not the full screen, just the current window, and it's not been put into the clipboard. Okay, now for this bonus tip, we've noticed up until now, we've been pressing print screen with a combination, the windows key, the control key. If you just press print screen on its own, one of two things will happen depending on a setting. Let's look at that setting. So you go to the start menu, then you go to settings, then you need to go to accessibility keyboard settings. And then if you scroll down here, you can see that it says, use the print screen to open screen capture on or off. Now with it off, what happens if you just press print screen, it's the same as if you just press control and print screen, which take a full screenshot and put it into the clipboard without saving it to the disk. So if we go over to edit, paste, there you can see a full screenshot was in the clipboard. However, if we switch this now to on, when I press print screen, it's the same as bringing up the snipping tool. So you actually get up this little toolbar where you can pick again all the different types of things you wanna do. So print screen on its own will also do a screenshot, but it depends on this setting exactly how it will work. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.